Urban Austin Bait Catching Lessons In the city limits of Austin, Texas metro area Catch and release outdoors Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe When catching bait in Austin, we had to be mindful of a few things Austin is a busy place with a lot of vehicle and pedestrian traffic There are not many free parking places near the creeks and the lake So you have to be careful to avoid having your car being towed But using these minnows are worth it this day we are in the Austin, Texas metro area catching bait for a fishing trip. On this day, my neighbor and I are in South Austin. My buddy will show me his spot to catch, and how he catches minnows. The plan is to catch the minnows, take them home, and keep them alive overnight to go fishing tomorrow morning. My buddy has four 5-gallon buckets with lids, we'll fill these with water once at the creek. He uses canned dog food for minnow bait, he puts that dog food in a mesh bag. We bring a car battery-powered aerator. You can use the battery-powered bubble boxes, but you'll need to bring two or more bubble boxes. We need to keep these minnows alive until we go fishing tomorrow. You'll also need minnow buckets, minnow net, a small rope, a four to six feet pole, and a mesh bag for your bait. We arrive at the creek under the highway and unload our gear. We wade across the creek. You'll need shoes that can walk on rocks without slipping. The water's current can push your feet from under you. Take great care when crossing these creeks. This is my buddy and neighbor Royce. There is a lot of graffiti under these bridges. Some of it is beautiful. OMG. We walk upstream to an area with good water flow and deeper water. Note, be careful and watch out for snakes and wildlife. Also watch out for suspicious people. Always stay aware of your surroundings. Wet rocks are slippery. Don't fall and ruin your day. Roy studies the creek's water currents. He can determine where best to put his net. He puts his net in the water just out of the current. Now the wait begins. Be as still as you can. This can take several minutes. The minnows have to smell the dog food and find it. Be patient. Enjoy the scenery, the trees are beautiful, the flowing water sound suits the soul. This is Mother Nature, in the city limits of South Austin, Texas, at its finest. Most of the time you can see the minnows in the net eating the dog food, but sometimes you can't. When ready, pull your net up quickly, and just like that, we have bait. To keep the minnows lively, you must keep them in the water. Throw the smaller minnows back to grow up. Keep only the size minnows yeah, you man. need. We might get full fish in that. Once you've put the minnows in the minnow bucket, you must keep that bucket in the water at all times. Take the bucket out of the water only to put more bait in it. Then put it back. We don't catch many more minnows here, so we move downstream on the other side of the bridge. We can see a lot of minnows as we walk downstream. These minnows appear smaller than what we just caught upstream. More graffiti. Not sure what USB is. I can't make out what the graffiti on the bottom is. Minnows are everywhere. Yes sir, we are. That's my buddy right there. It doesn't take long for Royce to catch two or three more dozen. Royce pulls up his neck. And just like that, we have more bait. Yeah baby. Hell yeah. Nice! That is a lot of minnows. But we need a few more. With this many minnows in the bucket. I have make sure the bucket stays in the water as we walk farther. We move to another spot farther downstream. We make sure the minnow bucket is in the water. We stop and dip it in. Then we move on. It didn't take him long this time. Lots of bait in this area. I got busy with the minnow bucket and missed Royce catching more minnows. I missed that whole catch. We have enough bait. Smaller than, yeah, the last one. We begin the walk back to the truck. You betcha. We stop every few minutes to put the minnow bucket in the water. 
There are many minnows in that bucket, it would be a shame to accidentally kill them before we can use them. Once we cross the creek again, Royce will put the minnow bucket in a good place to fill with water. While doing this, we go to the truck and get the 5-gallon buckets out. We fill them with water and cover them with lids. My dad used to get those. These buckets will hold the minnows. Be sure to get all the minnows out of the minnow bucket. If you leave any, they will rot and stink in the bucket. Nice! That is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. We load the equipment and the last bucket back in the truck and connect the aerator to the truck battery. Once home, we divide the minnows in half between the two of us. I put my minnows and my big aerator in the first 5-gallon bucket. At 6 p.m., I change the water. I put the minnows in the second bucket. At 12 a.m. I change the water again using the third bucket. By 6 a.m. I change the water one last time using the fourth bucket. We leave at 8 a.m. We drive two hours to the lake. Minnows are alive and well. Thanks for watching. Tight lines all.